dead vegetation. It's particularly a big problem in Colorado. In tonight's Energy in America report, correspondent Alicia Cunha tells us about a fascinating new solution. Colorado has millions of acres of dead timber that is potential fuel for massive wildfires. Now a renewable energy company plans to turn the trees into fuel for vehicles. It's a higher octane level than what you put in your car, but it can be used to blend and produce the gasoline that goes into your car. Howard Jansen is the CEO of Cool Planet. It's not dependent on any imported uh, petroleum products, but uh, very importantly, the gasoline that we make is carbon negative. Biomass is not just dead trees. It can be waste headed to landfills, corn cobs, or other vegetation. And it doesn't compete with the food supply. Al Weimer of the Colorado Center for Biorefining and Biofuels says part of what makes Cool Planet unique is the company's plan to open hundreds of micro-refineries across the country. If you're able to um, be close to the biomass within something like a 30 mile radius of, of, of biomass for biofuel, it eliminates the transportation costs of, of biomass to get to a larger facility. The company has big name investors like ConocoPhillips and BP, ones you'd think would be competition. But Cool Planet's technology helps them meet fuel standards. You know, I think in general oil companies uh, are forward thinking and, and they're looking down the road also to what's going to happen. So when you look at the investors in the company, you can see that the technology really is real and supported by some of the largest companies in our country. The company is privately funded and does not take advantage of any government subsidies. So far, there has been no criticism for Cool Planet's plans here in Colorado. But other states are taking a harder look at the general issue of burning wood for fuel and adopting rules to ensure that biomass stays as green as advertised. Brett. Alicia, thank you. Well, how would you